Hey guys, welcome to this video. In the field of ethical hacking, subdomain enumeration is the process of identifying all subdomains of a given domain. This is a very important step in the penetration testing information gathering process as it can give you a lot of information about the target environment. This can be done by using one of the many tools available for this purpose. Subdomain enumeration can be useful for a number of reasons. For example, it can help you find security vulnerabilities in a company's website, or simply learn more about a company's infrastructure. In this video, we will introduce you to five of the best subdomain enumeration tools available today. Now let's start without further ado. The first website subdomain enumeration tool is Subfinder. It is created by Port Discovery. This package includes a subdomain detection tool that detects valid subdomains of websites using passive online resources. It has a simple modular architecture and is optimized for speed. Subfinder was built for one thing only, passive subdomain enumeration. And it does it amazing. It is designed as a passive framework to be useful for bug bounty hunting and penetration testing. So how to install it? Subfinder is already installed in Kali so you don't need to install it but, in some cases, if not installed. First, open your Kali Linux and open the terminal. Type, sudo apt install subfinder. Now just type, subfinder -h. It will show you the usage of subfinder. So if you want to provide a single domain then you have to write dash d or you have to provide a list of file that contains domain names. Then you have to write this dash d option. And if you want to just like there are many other things, what happens is that many domains are not subdomains are not working right now but still, finder finds it and shows it to you. So this option will not show the dead subdomains only it will show the active subdomain. Now let's try google.com, subfinder dgoogle.com. So it is now enumerating subdomains from Google. You can see that it has enumerated this much of subdomains. One more thing is that if I go to the repository, you will see that it collects subdomains from many sources like this. If you want to see it in the terminal, then you have to write this command, subfinder-ls. It will show you the sources from which it is collecting all the subdomains. One more thing is that you have to also configure it like the API key. It will find better subdomains for you. How to just configure it you have to copy this path and then you have to come here and then you have to write here nano and then paste it here so now you can see that there are empty paths as shown in the repository you have to paste the api key here by going to their website and signing up it will work better to understand better this tool read its repository and documentation now let's go to our second tool the second tool is sublister Sublister is a tool developed in Python that uses open source intelligence to list subdomains of a website. It helps penetration testers or bug bounty hunters collect subdomains of the target domain. In order to get accurate results, Sublister uses many search engines like Bung, Google, etc. And also, Subbrute is integrated with Sublister to increase the possibility of finding more subdomains using brute force with an improved word list. Now let's see how to install it. I think Sublister is already in Kali but if not install it by typing. sudo apt install Sublister. Now let's see the help menu by typing. Sublister dash h. For example, dash d to enumerate its subdomains. And you can use dash b for a domain for brute forcing. So it will enable the sub brute module means it will use the sub brute module to brute force. There are also more op- You can also specify the no color option. So this is a basic example of sublister. Now let's try with Google. Sublister dgoogle.com 
Let's see how many subdomains it will gather. You can see that it has found only 10 or fewer subdomains so many times. These kinds of tools also give false positive results. But to find unique subdomains you can use this or one more thing you can use the brute force module. So it will just be like brute force subdomains. First of all, it will find subdomains, otherwise, it will just like brute force them. To use that just type, dash b at the end of the command. It takes time so I will finish here. For more information, you can type man sublister. It will give you more information about this tool. The third tool is a mass. A mass written by Jeff Foley. A mass is one of the popular and great subdomain detection tools. It is one of the most powerful terminal-based commands for collecting large amounts of subdomain data. Amass uses various subdomain mapping techniques including scraping, recursive brute force, reverse NDS scanning, and machine learning to obtain a complete list of subdomains. To install Amass just type sudo apt install Amass. It will install Amass. First of all, to see the help menu you have to write this command, amass-h. So you can see that it is quite a big tool, there are also sub-commands in it. So this is like a framework, it is a kind of framework, to see this sub-command help menu so you have to write, amass and then enum and then dash h. You will get the subcommand help menu. As you can see there are many other things like activator value and many things. But we are focused on our domain search. So you can also search for more than one domain. And for searching for subdomains, we have to write this dash D option. Or you can also use this brute force mode after, so it will execute brute forcing after searches. Now let's try google.com. First of all, I will clear the terminal and I will write this command. amassienum d googlecom Now you can see that it is enumerating subdomains Google. What is the main thing that every tool is not the same and every tool may not provide the same results. So we have to combine many tools and many website data for a big subdomain so that we don't miss out on any subdomain because everyone finds it on the main root domain. And many, few people go to this subdomain. As you can see that it is a subdomain. So, I don't think so many people will go here. So you can find it in these subdomain vulnerabilities. And you can also use the dash brute option. So what this option will do that will brute force subdomains. So from there, this tool is gathering the subdomains. Brute force is also a better option, but it will take very much time. The fourth tool is knock. Knock is another Python subdomain scanning tool that helps information security researchers gather information. It works by performing a full DNS zone transfer, and if that fails, it can query virus total subdomain database. It's a simple program that does the job well when you need to look up subdomains. First clone the tool from the GitHub repository by using the below step. Open your favorite browser then type. Knock GitHub. Then click the first one. Then click this code in the green button. Copy this link. Open terminal. Type, git clone then paste it here. Wait for a few seconds. After finishing change to your preferred directory. cd knock py. Lastly type, pip3 install r requirements.txt. Now we finish our installation. To run the tool and to get its options, type python knock py dash h to get the subdomain of any website type Python knock py your domain I will go with google.com again. 
As you can see, it is giving us more subdomains. You can do more things with this tool by just reading the GitHub repository. Our last or fifth tool is Asset Finder. Asset Finder is an open source project aimed at simplifying information gathering for subdomains and domains of an organization. Asset Finder leverages many publicly available data sources to help you during your asset discovery process. It does so by building a list of subdomains related to a domain, sourced from popular data sources. It is easy to install this tool. Just open your terminal then. Type sudo apt install asset finder. This will install this tool. After finish type asset finder dash h. Now let's try with Google. Type asset finder google.com. As you can see it will give us subdomains. Thank you for watching this video so far. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions put in a comment I am happy to reply to you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about hacking. See you soon.